Hello everyone, my name is Fox. This is Doom. This is going to be a series of testing a bunch of different games using that copper heat plate. And you can kind of see it right in there. So this is the copper heat mod. You can kind of see the surroundings over there. I have gone back to switching to the original case just so that I can get that SSD grounding back on. I didn't really want to be playing Russian Roulette with my SSD anymore. Uh, the most important metric on here is going to be this uh, CPU package temperature, which is at 66 degrees Celsius. You can see that our package power is at 11.2 watt. Most importantly, though, you can see that we're at full frequency. So even though the power limit's at 15 watts, you can see that we're pegged at 2.4 gigahertz and the GPU clock is at 848 megahertz. This is max for the 7Y30. It will not go higher. We can't overclock anymore. So literally, this is as much power as we can potentially give it. I am undervolting by 50. So it's a negative 50 millivolt for the CPU and GPU. So this is more realistic of what you should be using anyway. There's no reason to keep default voltage if you can undervolt stably. Uh, we are running the very latest Intel drivers here. This is uh, the 1220, so December 20th. And you can see that this is Vulkan 1.1.93. For the past few iterations of Vulkan, there are problems with running Vulkan. Uh, and I have used OpenGL, but the problem with running the latest OpenGL is that Intel kind of caps the GPU clock at half frequency. So you can only ever go up to 450 megahertz on OpenGL on the latest drivers. So even though we put the package power limit at a, whatever the hell we want, it won't go over 450 megahertz. So you're not going to get uh, the heat that we need because the, the purpose of this test is to see how hot this gets, right? So we're right now at 68 degrees Celsius and everything is full blast we couldn't possibly be using more power. So this, again, is the most important metric. Again, we're running Vulkan. This is uh, 720p default resolution, but we're running at a 50% resolution scale. So that is around 507p. Uh, everything else is low except for anti filtering, which is at 16 times. 16 times doesn't really do much, so I just try to keep it. You can kind of see the glitching that happens with using Vulkan. And it doesn't matter, full screen, windowed, or uh, borderless, which I am right now. But the most important thing here is that we're just able to... You know what, it's kind of dark. Let me go ahead and brighten this up. So we will go to Gamma. Whoa, I can't see squat. Oh, it's because they're tiny. Where are you at? Some health. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. I really can't wait for Doom Eternal. Also, I should probably submit this video to Intel just to show them the problems that are happening so you can kind of see this going on there.
Maybe. <laughs> Low health, you say? Whoa. All right. Well, that's enough. So we got almost eight minutes of gameplay here. Uh, sorry for the lack of commentary. I was just kind of in the zone. You can see that we pretty much topped off at 72 degrees Celsius, and we've been, like, just pegging the needle on CPU and GPU the entire time. So, uh, again, this is the copper heatsink mod for the Indiegogo model that is currently on pre-order right now. It does work very, very well. Normally, I would be getting 85 degrees Celsius on um, when I'm playing with the stock heat sink, which is right here. And then this is the aluminum one, just so you can see it. But I'm using the copper one right now. Uh, so realistically, we're looking at a 13 degrees Celsius drop. Um, the guy that is making this is currently still trying to fine-tune things and make it a little bit more foolproof with installing it. You do need a good amount of thermal paste. I think he's trying to figure out if he can... He knows that he can make it deeper into fitting into the die. He's just worried about people breaking their machines. Uh, that's why you need so much um, thermal paste, because there is actually a, 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 a small gap. Uh, and he could make that gap smaller but at the risk of people over tightening the screws and breaking the silicon of the 7y30 itself in any event this is doom running um uh, this is using the latest vulcan you could see the little artifacting here I'll, i'm gonna go ahead and submit a bug report to intel about that but you can see that we never went over 72 degrees celsius and we are full-on pegging the maximum frequency that we can get so this is literally the best performance that we're going to get and you can see it was supremely playable we're getting around 40 fps averages if i was uh recalling correctly while i was like taking a look up here every uh periodically anywho that's it um as always thank you very much for your time and thank you for watching